It's the Kevin Shorey Show. Today's topic is legacy. Tonight's special guest is Tammy Sue Baker. Special music by Tammy Sue Baker. And now, here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show. This is the very first show. Thank you for being here. Give yourselves a hand. You look great. I am so glad that you are here. I'm glad you're watching. We're here on the Roku Network, on the Generation Now Network on the Roku. And we're just so glad that you're here. It's the very first show. It means a lot today. I looked up special events of today. It's like uh, Sean Connery's birthday. He's like 80-something. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, he's 50-something. He's older than me. That's why he has an achy, breaky heart. <laughs> and, and Amelia Earhart sailed across the ocean in 1927. But I want you to remember this day like I will remember this day. It's the first Kevin Shorey show. And so I, <laughs> I have been praying for this day for a long, long time. And I first of all want to thank big time Pastor Jim Baker for allowing this to happen. I owe him so much. He is my spiritual father and mentor, and I love him so much with all my heart. And I want to thank all of the students, all of the, those that work here at Morningside. Mondo, in the next uh, couple of days, he'll be a guest on our program. I want to hear from him. But Mondo directing and all of those that are in the control booth and doing sound. Nolan, uh, Chris is in the sound. And my producers. We have a camera I want you to show. These are the guys that have come by my side like Aaron and her, like Moses had those guys lifting his arms off to win the battle. Timothy Stewart and Justin Aller are uh, the producers. We got a, a picture of them, and I want you to thank them for helping put the writing the show and doing the sketches you're about to see and putting it all together. That's Timothy and Justin. Yay. And I just want to explain that this won't be your... your uh, normal Christian program. I want people to talk about this, to say, I've never seen anything like this before. And so we were coming up with, what are we going to do? Now, we need to have a talk set. We need to talk to people. We have music. You know, we're, we have some comedy sketches. But what can make this just set apart from this every Tonight Show or t talk show? And so we thought of the idea of the portal. And there you see the Kevin Shorey Show portal, which will take me from my house right here to the studio every time we tape, every day that we do the Kevin Shorey Show. And that was created by Justin and his father, Gary Aller. And give a nice hand to them that constructed that. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. And so we want to give you comedy and music and, and great, great interviews and, and talk about some certain things that, you know, you might not see on the average Christian talk show. I mean, well, let's talk about, uh, can you be gay and Christian? Uh, what about this country and what, where God's taken us and, and why can't we win wars? How about addictions? How about divorce and remarriage? How about, we want to cover some things that people are really talking about. One thing that bugs me about most, you know, a lot of Christianity is they're trying to answer questions nobody's asking. And so I want to talk about some of the things that really relate. Everything from, I, and we'll even, believe it or not, we're going to cook some on these programs and show you some healthy foods and some not so healthy foods. And so, because you know, there's balance, I think. So it's going to be such a variety of things coming up every day. And uh, let's start it off with a promo ad. This is one we made, a commercial that we had made to advertise on Roku for the Kevin Shorey Show. And it goes like this. All right, Tanner. All right. You know, I said I was going to get that one guy for the shoot, right? Yeah. You said you were going to get the president for today. Well, he couldn't make it. But I found someone else, and he's even better. I mean, this guy, incredible. If the president was standing there, and this guy was standing there, you would think there was a mirror, like, right there, because this guy, I'm almost identical. All right, I'll trust you on this, okay? Uh, sir, he's ready. Okay, he looks nothing like him. Just wait till he starts, because that's when the magic happens. Hi, I'm President Barack Obama, and I'm here to tell you to watch The Kevin Shorey Show 
10 p.m. Central, Monday through Friday, on Roku, on the Generation Now Network. That was the take. That was the take. No, stop. What? No, what? stop clapping. No, stop. Enough with the hands. That was terrible. How do you guys think that was good? I, I can do a better impersonation. You can leave. Go ahead. Go home. Go home. We'll pay you later. Go. Now, uh, we believe, uh, as a people, uh, that we should watch The Kevin Shorey Show, uh, 10 p.m. Central, uh, every night, Monday through Friday. Uh, seen on Roku, on the Generation Now Network. Seriously? Was that supposed to be someone? Really, though? You too? I don't understand who would possibly think that this guy even looks like Obama. Hey, everyone. Oh, Mr. President. What an honor to have you here. Well, we're back. That was funny, wasn't it? That was great. That was my, my son, actually, doing the good Obama, even though I pretended that the... Uh, that the other guy was the president. We know who did the real good, the real good Obama. Anyway, today uh, is a very special day. On the first show, I want to, the topic today is legacy because I really believe that the best, uh, the best thing we have, the best opportunity we have before we leave this planet is to leave a legacy. And so I thought one of the greatest legacies that I know is one of the men that started me in ministry Jim Baker, who's handed out a legacy to so many other people. But then there's a legacy even in his own family. There's his daughter who is here at Morningside. His grandson, James, uh, who couldn't be with us today because of an illness in the family. But I didn't get Jim, I didn't get James, but I got in the middle. One of the best, one of the best singers, anointed ministers that I know. Would you give a nice welcome to Tammy Sue Baker? Come on. Come on, darling. Hello. Mwah. Come on over. I'm trying to gracefully go back so I don't have my back towards the... There you go. You... Hello? Yes. Hello. How are you? I am so excited that you're my first guest I'm excited ever. to be your first, first guest. First guest ever. This is wonderful. Ever. Well... You've got a great audience. They're great. They're yeah. so nice. Awesome. They, they really are. They're, they are awesome. And they're clapping and laughing even at stuff that's not funny. Oh, you, know? you paid them then? I, uh, somewhat. The I just figured, no, I didn't actually. But I figured if they weren't funny, you know, I brought my own. So I got my own laughter there and just in case. The cheesy jokes never end. They, they? never, they never end. Did I have to that? work with him yeah. on the Jim Baker show, the no show show, the pre show, and now the Kevin Shorey show. It was inevitable. Go figure. It was inevitable. Good Lord. And I figured if nobody would give me a hand, I have my <laughs> own. So we could, we could do that. Oh. Today I want to talk about legacy. And I don't, I don't know of a, a greater legacy, but also a legacy that the enemy has tried to fight so much. Yeah. I mean, your father, I probably don't know anybody, maybe Job is the only other one <laughs> that I know. His that initials are Job. You know that, don't you? I know. Did y'all know that? James Orson Baker, Job. So I guess it was in, in the cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I mean, he's been through, I mean, lost everything that you can lose as, as a human being in this world. And yet, what the enemy is meant for evil, God's turned around for good. Amen. And, uh, but tell me about some of the good times. What's some of the first things you remember about Christian television? Because your dad, a pioneer of Christian television, but you are too. You were there from the beginning. I was there all the time, as the song says. He was there. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I was born in 1970, and I was born <gasps> on a, basically on a television show. I was in a bassinet on the set of the Jim and Tammy show when I was two weeks old. And it just started there. And so my first memories of Christian television is the production people and the directors and the set designers and those kind of people are the, my first memory of Christian television, of being close friends with them. And yeah. um, it was normal to me. You know, it was just normal. 
Yeah, I mean, and so here, here we're still doing it. I mean, yeah. God's given us a legacy. Your dad's allowed me to do this. And, of course, I'm sure you'll be on the network soon with your own. I don't you know, know we're going to do a lot of cooking. You have to come back. <laughs> we got to do a cooking show. Because between you and I, we can cook some food. We can. We've got some recipes between the two yes, of us we that do. we could share. But you know what? What brought you here now? I mean, there was a time, you know, when all, you know, hell broke loose mm -hmm. and God begins to restore. What was final, the final decision to say, I'm going to continue on with this legacy. Well, you know, it, it was my son, James, really. I know. Because I, uh, I mean, you, a lot of you know the story. You know, we, after we lost PTL, uh, our world was just, it was gone. It, it, literally overnight it was gone. And, and so it's, it's been a real roller coaster ride since PTL. Um, yeah. A lot of downs. Yeah. A lot of downs. It's been a really hard life. I've been grateful for everything, and I, I always say I'm the most grateful person on earth because I've been grateful for every single thing that God has ever given me. And I used to go out and speak a lot and sing, and I'd say I'm grateful for my hair color. I'm grateful for my deodorant. Come on. I'm grateful for my pantyhose mm. because, you know, <laughs> when you have literally nothing, and I know how many of you have been there, or you st we still are there, and you struggle and uh, struggle to buy food and pay the bills. And, you know, I remember having a baby on one hip and begging the power man to keep the power on for one Dear more Lord. day so I could wow. get the money to, to pay the bill. And that really, truly did happen. And, and I've, I cleaned houses. I was cleaning houses before I moved here to Missouri. And I'm good at it, too. And I clean here, too, and I like it. Mm -hmm. And I was cleaning, cleaning houses in the name of Jesus, and I believe everything you do that you need to do it in the name of Jesus and do it to the best of your ability and do a top-notch job. Yeah. And that's what I did every time I cleaned a house. I made sure I vacuumed my way out the door so that when those people came home that night, they could see excellence. Amen. And so I believe that everything we do, we do in excellence. That's awesome. And, um, and that's not a poor, pitiful me thing. It's, I worked. I worked Amen. hard. And I, I still work hard. Well, and I like God to work. honors that. And, he really does. And that's what we're supposed to do. That's what you we're know. supposed to do. And so um, I have missed singing. I've missed being on television. But I also knew, for me personally, I knew what, what comes along with being on television. I knew that once they, we had the doors over there on the stage. And, and uh, I knew once I walked through those doors that my life would be different again, totally. It was already different. I mean, people still would recognize me going to the laundromat or the grocery. Um, but I knew that it would be totally different uh, once I walked through those doors. Yeah. So it, it took a lot to, to do this, to come back into this. But it wasn't just because I wanted to sing. It wasn't because I wanted to be, definitely not because I wanted to be on television. I love to sing, but TV, yeah. whatever, you know. Um, but I love the Lord with all my heart. Amen. I love the Lord so much that, you know, I know everybody sees me crying all the time, but it is a deep love for God that I can't even begin to explain to you. It's that one-on-one -on -one relationship with Jesus Christ that no man can ever take away. Come on. And it's something that is so personal to me and so wonderful. And the last two years I've been on the show, I'm literally healing I don't think anybody understands that. Yeah. From the first day on the show till right now on this show, I'm still healing. You know, there's 30 years of stuff that I'm still trying to over, you know, overcome. Yeah. And so, you know, the Christmas, literally the Christmas before I came here, my my son, your your friend too, mm. that he loves you my so buddy, much. I love and, him. Oh, James. I love James. My, my, my two boys, James and Jonathan, and James is with his grandfather, so pray with him. Pray for him, please, because he's in Charlotte, North Carolina, visiting his uh, grandfather that is very, very ill, and yeah. they don't know how much longer he's going to make it, so um, he's there. Yeah. Um, but God's honored you for your faithfulness, for your work, and you're here. And, you know, you don't want to be on TV, but, you know, that's part of what it is God part has of it. for yes, you. Yes, it is. I think one of the times that you really, we felt there was a breakthrough because we were all high five and we were, there was just something about the 4th of July concert. Yes, that there was. Night, Absolutely. That we, it just, something just came together and said, we know why we're all here. It's one of the reasons it we're did. all It was here. a breakthrough night. Yeah. It was absolutely 100% a breakthrough night. It was, it was a great day. Anybody July see that? The concert. 4th of July. 
I loved it so much Aww. that we have a piece of that. Oh, no, you don't. Yes. <laughs> And, oh, my goodness. And you do it. I, I don't even know that I, I've told you this. <laughs> I might as well say it publicly. I, I don't even like this song. But <laughs> No, that's, we're honest like that, so he doesn't like this song. But I'm so glad she did it. There was such anointing on it. If Aww. they have it, I want them to play it now. I want you Aww. to hear Tammy Sue doing what she does best, sing this song. And this song is called Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here's Tammy Sue Baker. crown of thorns placed on his head he knew that he would soon be dead he said did you forget me father did you they nailed him to a wooden cross soon all the world would feel loss of Christ the King before his face up to the sky said I am coming home now father to you a reed which held his final sip was gently lifted to his lips he drank his last the body of our Lord said this is truly Christ our Savior he looked with fear upon his sword then turned to face the Christ our Lord his head the thorny crown and wrapped him in a linen gown and laid him down to rest inside the tomb the holes in his hands and in his feet now our hearts we know anointing hallelujah
Tammy Sue Baker. Tammy Sue Baker, one of my favorite singers in all the world. Little did I know when I was 19 and she was uh, probably 13, 14, <laughs> that here we'd be on a talk set together and I'd be introducing oh. her. And of course, she'll be introducing me soon, I'm sure. Her show will do better than mine because women are better Stop. than men. Anyway. <laughs> But uh, no, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, but you know, when I think of legacy, we all need to understand that we have, the, it's a reality whether we like it or not. What are we going to leave behind? They always left behind, it says in, in, uh, in Proverbs, do not remove the ancient landmarks which your father set up, which is, which is telling them, and over in Joshua, over and over again, it was don't forget, always remember. Why? Because the fathers had to tell their children to, to leave them a legacy. There's a reality that when, you, when you're gone, you're going to leave a legacy, either good or bad. So respect it. Not only know the reality of it, but respect it. Proverbs 3.35 says, the wise shall inherit glory, but shame will be the legacy of fools. So if you're going if you're gonna to be foolish, you think, well, that's all on me, you know, and I'm going to do what I'm going to do. No, what you're going to leave something behind, and the legacy will be of, of fools. It's not a, only a reality, and you need to respect it, but you need to be responsible for your legacy. Because really, when you're buried, and they set up those, the grave marker, it'll say your birth, mine is 1963, and when it says my death, 2063, because I'm about 100 is how, how many years I'm, it'll say my birth, it'll say my death, and it'll have a dash between it. And really what you're responsible for is that dash between the birth and the death. What legacy did you leave behind? And, and I want to leave a right legacy. I want to leave something that says, you know, he was a man of God. But not really about me as much as because he was that, I can be that. I want to do that. It was handed down to me. I have many generations of ministers. My grandfather and my grandmother... Uh, were ministers. My grandmother, the pastor, and my grandfather, the music minister, who not only sang but played the saxophone. Awesome. That's why I love jazz to this day. <laughs> yes. And then my mom is a singer and a right. piano player. Matter of fact, when you heard the walk-in, that's my mom. They, they can't show her, but I do have a picture of her at seven <laughs> years old. Aww. This is my legacy. I this is that. my uh, this is my grandfather right here, and my grandfather was was singing. That is my mother right there, my uncle wow. Bruce, that is my grandmother on the piano, oh. and that, I really need manicure. Anyway, and that, <laughs> that is Timothy, who I show is one of our producers, that's his grandmother right there, wow. my cousin Timothy, and uh, these are, this was the preacher, that is, that is, who? Your mom's trying to tell you. Yeah, there's mom right there. Mom's changed a little bit since that, hasn't she? At least a little bit. She looks good for 85, doesn't she? Anyway, and so this is, no, I'm kidding, old joke. This is 1951. They were the first to take the Christian, Christian radio, uh, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ on radio on Cape Cod. And this was the gospel show, radio show in Cape Cod on WCOG. There's my legacy. I love that. That's why I do it for Jesus. But the reason I do it is also because they paid a price for me to be where I'm at. So I'm so thankful to your father. This is where I get choked up now. Because I wouldn't be here for one for men like him. Lowell Lundstrom that, that took me on the road. So yes. that's my evangelist side is that's him. Right. And my TV evangelist side is Jim Baker. And, and uh, that's why we're here today. That's why I had to do the very first show and talk about legacy. I'm just so thankful to God for all that he's done for me. And... I want you to think about it today. When you watch this program, I want you to say, what am I going to leave behind? What am I doing for God? If I don't know God, maybe I should know him because if I don't know him, I'm not really leaving anything great behind. We have to think of forever because we serve a God of forever, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first and the last. This show is just uh, about legacy today because, and thank you so much. Thank Tammy Sue Baker oh, for being on the you. program today. And we'll get you back. 
I know where you live. Yes, and you do. Uh, your son, get back, maybe both of you together for I sure. Would love that. And we'll definitely have to cook some stuff. Yes. But I, I definitely, when I thought of legacy, of course, I thought of the Baker family, my family. I mean, it's just like, uh, and, and God has put us all together for this time. And I believe we're living in the end time, so time might be a little short. And what we really need to do is start thinking about what we're leaving behind. Yeah. Uh, you know, one thing we need to leave behind is kindness. And I looked up, <laughs> I looked up that August is be kind, but this last week of August is the be kind to humankind week. Oh, I like that. Be kind to humankind. That's good. So here's one legacy you can leave. Just be nice, will you? Amen. Will you just be I kind to one that. another? I, yes. I, I mean, I know so many people that are honking and yelling at people on the road and their bumper sticker says, Jesus loves you, mm. right? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> do you know one person actually got arrested? They got pulled over mm -hmm. from the cops because they thought the car was stolen. Because it said, <laughs> Jesus loves you. And they were and acting they were so, so mean on the, on the yeah, highway. Yeah. yeah. So they got pulled over and arrested. <laughs> you must be, have stolen the car. <laughs> so, so be kind. Will you be nice? Yeah, be nice. And please. we as Christian <laughs> conservative people, let's be nice to those that may be just a little liberal yes. because maybe we can win them over Amen. with more love than we can with, with right. judgmental spirits or with hatred. Amen. We don't have to agree with somebody to be kind to them. Amen. We're still called to be kind. We're kind to be nice. So y'all in the audience, just look at each other and just say, be say, nice. God bless you. Be nice. Just smile at them. And while you're watching this, smile at somebody that you're... In, that you're with right now. Just love the one you're with, right? Yes. That's it. And I say this all the time, and so I want to say it on my first show. Just always smile, would you? Show teeth. And if you don't have teeth, gum it for God. But I knew go that ahead was coming. and smile. Show a little kindness to someone today, and we'll see you tomorrow night where our topic is going to be about romance Ooh. in marriage. All right. So you're going to want to see this with special guests Kim Boyce and Gary Kariba. Yeah. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I love you. Amen. Bless you.